Hey there, it's Steve Harris at Museums.com. We have a new widget ready to go called the Countdown Clock Widget. And this is going to be a really fast video because this widget is really simple and we left it simple for, for a reason. We thought that the widget, uh, and we've seen a couple of these out on the web already, um, they're usually overdone. There's so many elements to them that you're really locked into styling and you're locked into this certain look. And so we wanted to create a Countdown Clock Widget that basically just gave you the clock and you could do anything else you wanted with it or around it directly in Muse. So you can see we have this example here up on screen and we have this kind of really tasteful and simple countdown clock and it has days, hours, minutes and seconds and you can see that there's these little lines to the side and so what it's pointing out here is that the numbers um, that's counting down here is the widget and then the text below it's just text that we made in Muse and we just positioned it underneath the widget. So that's kind of what I mean about uh, the widget could actually pull these in but why bother? So this is another setting too that we have um, included in the widget, which is called the days only setting. So this would be, you know, if you wanted to count down only the days until your event, or in this case, until the opening, you know, of a store or something like that. So it's a pretty cool little widget. And let me show you how we made these. So I'll jump back into Muse and I have a totally blank page here and we'll go into the library. This is in Toolbox 8.9.2 and above, and we'll scroll down to number 34, which is the countdown clock. Drag it out on the page, and it loads a really nice preview. This, uh, this widget is one of the few and fortunate where um, it, it loads a nice preview in Muse and we can really see what we're doing. So the first thing that we'll do here is, let's just look through the, the uh, panel in the widget. So very uh, limited options, as you can see, but you, you really have all that you would ever need. So you have the event year, the event month, the event day. So of course use that to set your specific event. So let's say we have an event coming up on October 1st, which is the 10th month. And you know what, let's just set the day to the 15th, something like that. Okay. So you can see that the widget is automatically adjusting here. Now we have the ability to set some letter spacing. For some reason in Muse, when you go up to this text panel with the widget selected, it likes to lock you out of the tracking controls. And I always uh, I always adjust the tracking on almost everything I do. So that's why I build it into these widgets. So we have the ability to space these letters out a little bit. So let's just select uh, three pixels and you'll see that they spread out a little bit. Now the last thing is we have the time format. So this is where you can be very specific about how you want to display this widget. We could do something like total seconds. And if I select that, you'll see what happens. So obviously this is, you know, 307, 000, or no, 3 million seconds. And we'll preview that in the browser. And as you can see, they're just dropping continuously. Or we could go ahead and set this to something like days, hours, minutes, seconds. That's more what you saw in the example that we were showing here. And this is just going to split it up into all four of these uh, kind of options. The last thing you could do is set it um, to include the labels. So we, we do have here X days, Y hours. So if we click that, you'll see that the widget does actually pull in those labels for you. The only thing is you can't style the labels and the numbers independently. So that's why in our example, we decided to just do the labels directly in Muse. But as you can see, this does work as well. So let's just go back to, um, let's go days, hours, minutes, and seconds, just like we had it. Okay, and so once you've set it on the time format that you need, let's go ahead and style the text. So with the widget selected, just go up to the text panel and you can just change your style right here. So let's go to Montserrat. Okay, and we can set a color. Let's set the color to blue. And you know what, that's it for now for these settings. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna draw some really simple lines between these. So let's draw a line like that. And I'm gonna set the fill to gray with no stroke. Okay, and then you know what, I'll just duplicate these over just by holding the option key and clicking and dragging it. There. And so let me shrink this frame down a little bit so it's not so big. Okay. And let's just position this in the front of the canvas and we'll preview it in the browser. 
there. So as you can see, the clock works perfectly and it's really, really easy for you to style. And of course, these lines I just drew in directly in Muse. So one thing I'd recommend when you do that is I used to set the alignment on the widget to center. But the problem with that is that as the number ticks down, you can see that it kind of shifts left and right. So if you have it left aligned and just kind of manually center this on the page, you'll find that the other elements kind of stay a little bit, a little bit more aligned with the widget. So let me duplicate this down and let's just set this to days, total days here. So obviously we have 30 di 35 days until the event and I'm gonna scale the frame down again on this one so that it's nice and tight. And then we'll just do as I did in the example here. I had days until, actually I just had days like that. Oops. And we'll go to Montserrat. And I'll bring the size up here to something like 20. Yeah, something bigger, 35 perhaps, okay. And then I just did position door, duplicated the text down below saying until opening. So we have 35 days and then we'll set this until opening. Just like that. So as you can see, you don't really need to do much design work within the widget itself. Just keep all your design directly in Muse anyway and just kind of work around the widget. So let me just up the uh, tracking here a little bit on this so it extends out. We'll change the color. There. And that's exactly how I did the uh, widget on the sample page here, which looks like this. 478 days until opening. So that's it. It's really simple and we hope you enjoy it and good luck making your event website. Cheers.